Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Pacific Inlet Logging here in Farming Simulator 17. We've got just a few of these big trees to cut back, to cut back down, to cut down, and trim and slice up, and then we're done. We, we've actually done it. I mean, yes, we've still got those three over there to go and do, and they'll take a little bit of time, but I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad. We'll take them one at a time, we won't get clever or anything like that and try and drag several all at once we will just drag uh, one at a time back over that way and then we can chuck them into the lake however we're going to do it um, and like so many of you pointed out we we need to do it properly we do actually need to do it properly but then we'll be able to get our Ford actually no before we get the Ford we're going to be getting I think this might actually be a suitable job for the Massey um, you know, we got the Valtra. That's the one that we're going to be using for towing out the trees. We'll drag that one out. It's a decent forestry tractor, isn't it? Um, but then we've got the Massey, which at the moment is on our logging trailer. And it, it's not particularly well suited to the logging trailer. It's, it's a little bit underpowered for that job. So we want something different to go on the logging trailer. But what do we put on that trailer? And how do we do it? Do we sell the Massey completely and then just have a different tractor that is multi-purpose? Um, probably would be better. And I like the idea of having that Bura Comfort that we looked at last time. Because that was in... not in FS15. That Or was it in FS15? That one was in FS15, actually. I'm pretty sure it was in... If it wasn't in FS15, it was in FS13. It may have been in both. It may have been the starting tractor for 15 and 13. I can't quite remember now. Um, but still, it's an old familiar tractor. It wasn't in this one, but it was definitely in those two. Then, uh, yes, of course, because the maps, it, it's an old European tractor, isn't it? You wouldn't really get one of those Buras in the States. Or it'd be unusual to see it there. I mean, it's, it's not impossible because collectors and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, it would have been unusual to see it in the States, which is why they had the case in the New Holland as the old tractors. Whereas, last time we had... Uh, where were we last time? I can't remember the name of it. It began with B. Um, what was it called? I honestly can't remember the name of it at the moment. Uh, but before that, it was Hagenstad. Hagen, Hagenstad, Hagen, Hagenstead. Um, and, yeah, so we had the Bura on there, and then we had the, the mountainous one, which I... The name of which escapes me in FS15. Uh, and we had the Bura there again, because that was in Europe, and so it, it would have made absolute sense for that one to be there. Um, but then, then what did we have? That, that was kind of it, really. Um... It wasn't, uh, yeah, well, we, we switched over to the U.S. Well, it was the U.S. map, so we switched to the U.S. brands, and that's why uh, you didn't get the, um, I think, or well, one of the reasons you didn't get the Bureau back. But uh, I'm, I'm, I really hope that they would put that one back in this time round. It was nice having that one in there. It was, it would sort of become an old favourite, hadn't it? And it was quite a, there were a lot of people that downloaded that mod i don't know i honestly don't know if it's still available or not i kind of hope that it is because it's it is a nice tractor so yeah i've, I've talked to myself okay i've i've also heard you I've, I've heard you like through the power of time and um you know th through the whole space time continuum thing that is my youtube channel and um i've, I've heard what you're all saying go for the bureau frith I, I i can hear you all saying it go for the bureau and use that one for your main tractor. We can sell the Massey, we've used the Massey, we've taken a look at it, but it hasn't sort of proved particularly suitable for the job in hand. So sell that one so you've got the money, and then buy the Bureau instead. So you've got a runaround tractor. Um, it's a little bit slow. Actually, I don't know if it is slower than the Massey or not, but it's got front linkage on it. That's, that's a very important, crucial aspect is the front links on it is going to make a difference to overall performance of just about everything. Uh, let's bring this one over here. Take you down. Um, dragging out the deciduous trees, we'll still use the small voucher, and that's also got the loader that we'll want for moving the stuff around anyway. Um, I've got a bit, a bit of a jam up here, so let's, let's do this tree next, and then 
We've got one more tree. Actually, if this tree falls right over, I'll clean this one and chop it up. Yeah. Right, we clean this one here. Chop it all up. Like that. And go forward a little bit more. Forward a little bit more. There we go. I knew I'd do it eventually. Run all the way up through there like that. And is that all of it cleaned off? I don't know. I felt like I slipped off to the side slightly on that one. And we come down and take you off like that. And cut you in half. And then we want to cut that tree there down so that both the trees will fall over. And come on, bring you in there. There we go. Chop you down. Get both those trees to fall over, clean them, and we slice them in half. Or slice them into three, rather. So if I do this one this way, is it going to fall this way or is it going to go the other way? I'm directly underneath a tree right here. So I need to move fast. Out this way. Oop. Okay. The <laughs> I, do I dodged the first one, but the other one landed on my head anyway. So, um, yes. We're, we're rest in peace, Rithgar. That, that was, um, it, it was a good run, but um, ultimately it wasn't quite meant to be, was it? <laughs> and... Let's, let's, let's clean this up. Let's, let's, uh, Frithgar 2.0 is now on the case. He's going to take over where Frithgar um, didn't quite make it because of the big tree landing on his head. Take you off there and we come over to here to about that one there, I think. Um, I'd be interested to hear your views on what I'm doing with the stumps this time round. I'm still going to do it like this with the stumps. I'm going to go through with that new stump grinder and you know, plow and stump grind all at the same time. I'm going to pick the wood chips up first because you've all asked me to pick up the wood chips. All of you said so. So even though it might take us a while to go around and get them, I'm still going to go and get all the wood chips. And then after we've done that, then I will... Um, go round with the plow slash stump grinder on the back of the forge and we'll grind all the rest up. And that will actually, the, the, the wood chips that are left over from doing that won't, um, we, those are the ones we won't be being, um, being able to pick up. We won't be able to pick any of them up. Um, they will all just get plowed straight into the ground. Which is fine, because it's kind of like a bit of a mulch for the, the ground. I mean, yes, unfortunately the game doesn't actually treat it like fertilizer, which would be nice, but still. We will um, we'll deal with that. So we've got one here to take down. I'm getting a bit laggy again because of the sheer quantity of trees we got in the ground. I'm guessing also all the little tiny patches of sawdust that we got lying around as well. They're probably not helping matters. Um, and also because the, the logs are like lying one on top of the other, which is... It does make it a bit difficult in places because um, they, they all tend to like try and dance around a bit. So there's a tree over there. I think that's it. I think that is going... That, that is it. Yes! The last one! Ha ha! At last we've done it! We have finally cut down all of the trees. We've been waiting for this moment for such a long time. This is absolutely brilliant. It's taken a lot of episodes, actually. We, we've, it's a lot of work that we've taken to get to this point. But there we go. The final tree. Over he goes. Okay, that, that, that one just took an inordinate amount of time to cut down through there. We've got these three over here. Just these last three to take down, which we will take down. I've got a, a couple of um, logs there. Actually, I'm going to pick up one of those because i got to walk back the other way anyway. If I pick one of these up, I carry it with me. I just take this one over here and I carry it with me. I'll sling it into the sling it right into the lake. Yep, that that one's going right into. The, I didn't mean to actually crouch. Then um, I'm I'm supposed to be pressing shift and running. So we're going to run with this one all the way over here. There's one more that I'll actually want to do this with. The rest of them we're going to drag them over here, cut them up, sling them in. And I don't think it matters whether I sling these. I'm I'm happy to sling these into the lake. I'm happy to do that. I don't think that matters. So next up, we're going to go. We're going to bid farewell to our mainstay of forestry over here, which wasn't really a mainstay. It was just kind of like popping in to say hello, and now it's um, gone again. Uh, this one we're going to go and sell, and then we're going to buy the Bura. I've listened to all of your arguments as to whether we should or shouldn't, and it does appear that you all want me to. I've, I've heard you through the, the passages of time and, um, yeah, the, the halls of time and uh, 
you know, space-time continuums and and all sorts of other things. Um, yes, I I hear you. I hear you, and I I understand you. Let's go into here. So where is this bureau? I wonder if we would. Well, we're not going to be able to do it. Let's be honest. We're not going to be able to be buying any tractor like that on this series. But when we move to if we what if and when we get a forestry map. Ooh. What about that's 132 horsepower? There. That one there. Uh, engine setup. Plus 10,000. That's 150 horsepower. Pro vary there. Pro black, pro 150, 50,000 edition. Yeah, so that's that's all that's in the classic thing. Um, modern classics DLC right there. This one here, that's that's a, a small tractor. Uh, that one there was oh. Now we're talking. Okay, this this is a fast tractor. This one is. I remember now the fast tracks, fast tractor. 159 horsepower there, and we go for a 55 kph, 168. 65, 168, 75, okay, that's a 168 horsepower engine with a 75 kph top speed, it's not the strongest of tractors, admittedly, but it's still 168 horsepower, all that talk about that Bureau and suddenly I'm abandoning it because this one, look at the speed on it, look at the speed, I've, I've, I've been dazzled by the numbers, 74,000 wheel setup right here. Narrows, twins, rear twins, wides. No, standards on there. Twins would look ridiculous on this thing. They've Some tractors are meant for twins and others are not. This is one of the knots. Definitely not. Uh, engine setup there. Oh, that's minus. So this one here is 58,000 for 135 horsepower. That, I'd see, I really love the idea of the Bureau, but I mean, look. Look at this. Look at this. 75 kph. That's, that's quite a lot of miles per hour. It's 40 miles an hour, that is. Uh, it's going cheaper. I'm, I'm guessing it, well, 40 miles an hour. I, I think it's a bit more than that, actually. I think it might be closer to 50 miles an hour. And even 40 miles an hour, 168 horsepower is still a very powerful tractor. You know what? You've talked me into it. We'll, we'll, we'll get this one. I completely forgot about this one, and I didn't realize it was quite as powerful as this. So this is one we're going to try, and we also, we're also going to get a front weight for it to try and help keep that um, front down a bit, which I'm hoping will also increase traction a little bit as well. Uh, what's that? That's, a, that's a 550. Do I want one of these weights here? We go for something like this. Um... Front weight's there for the Massey. That looks pretty good, actually. Like that. Um, I, so many different weights and weight systems that I've got. Really know which one to go for. A Saphir right here. We've obviously got the Minion weight, which I do like, but I think it might be difficult to get hold of a Minion weight here, sort of in the middle of the forestry land. So you want something... Of, I'd say... Actually, that one might be better, but that one's quite low. I've had problems with that one before because he does hang down quite a long way. So I think, really, we're going to go with that one there. $600, we'll buy that one right there. Um, I think that would be a better suited one. It's um, six, $600 is 600 kilos as well. That'll be, that, that, that does seem to suit. 48 miles an hour, this one does. You, you understand that? 48 miles an hour. That is that is a ludicrous top speed. And there we go. We got that's that's a nice that's weighted down the front by quite a long way. It does take a while to build up speed. Right? Building up speed is something that is not done quickly with this machine. However, speed is something that it does do. So even if I guess we don't really if it's not like ultimately suitable for this and we decide to switch over to the Ford it's still it's still it's still a good machine to have for the task let's uh, switch it so what are we on uh, left hand side at the minute that's fine so we'll, we'll go over towards these trees and we'll start auto loading just come up here and start the auto load there we go is our first log of the day we get that one in Look at all of the wood chips that we've got lying around here. We have got loads of them. Absolutely loads. 
We are going to make a fortune out of all this lot. We've got all of this. First of all, we got the timber here, right? The timber itself is worth a vast sum of money. And then all of these wood chips, we're, we're going to stash them for a minute. And we'll see about sort of getting something to load them up with uh, later. Or hopefully we'll find a good sale or something like that. Um, that's going to be good as well. That's, that's going to be absolutely wonderful once that gets going. Keep bringing this one in. I'm going to bring it down towards the, the edge of the water down there. Uh, that log underneath us is, is not necessarily going to be able to load up very easily. It's a bit of a shame. Never mind. I'll bring that in round there. I think, actually, we could load that up as it is. So if I switch that one off, I put the straps on like that. And that was on the left side. So we just start driving now. Take that up through there. And we're up to 14, 15 miles an hour. I know the Kirovitz would be doing... Well, the Kirovitz, this is about its top speed. Um, but now us already, we're already sort of making decent progress on this. Look at the speed we're going now. Right, this, this, this is where this thing's coming into its own. Absolutely wonderful. Right. In round there like that and pull up alongside like this undo the straps now which side am i uh i'm on the left side i need to change that over so we do that to change it over and then we do this and we start selling so yes it did cost us a bit it cost us 70 grand for this tractor and that's that's not you know any small amount but we've got lots and lots of logs so we're up to seventy thousand already and We'll plowing. We've got the plow. We we can take care of that. We need to buy a cultivator. We need to buy a seed drill. We need to buy a mower. We need to buy a rake and a baler and a wrapper. So we do actually. We we've got quite a few different things that we're going to need to be able to buy in order to make all of our stuff work. But I'm I'm still confident that we can do this. I think that we're going to get enough money from all of this timber to be able to buy those few items in order to, work to to sort of get going. Because, I mean, like a cultivator, that, that's really cheap. We'll get that for less than 10,000. We're not going to go for a... We, we won't go for a really big cultivator. That would just be a, a really daft thing to try and do. Um, so we're, we're going to go for a, a small-ish one, probably like the, the second size up or just something like that, um, and, and keep it fairly simple. And then we're not going to break the bank with any of it. That's the plan here. We do not want to break the bank. Right, and now I'm going to stop there a second. I'm going to switch side and then press B again. And we'll start collecting from this side over here. When I get close enough to some of the logs. It should do. There we go. And is it going to pick up those that are right out over there? Apparently not. But we'll go and get this one in here. I've got a couple of big logs there that I can gather up and then I can move in here and just sort of go along the end of these logs here as I've got there's quite a lot of these lying down here now and I should make a nice bit of cash out of it as well because the this is like all the big ones this is all the, like the the bottom parts of the trees that are going to make the real cash for us and I'll bring that out there I want to go out this way I don't know have I got, have, am I going to be able to get any more on? It's that little log there that I want to get. I got it. I got it. There we go. Right. And then we, we strap that down. That is a that is a proper load there. That, that is loaded right up high, that is. And that is our very final load. Right. Well, not final load. That is our, that's our final sort of, I was going to say a final load or final screenshot, but it's not at all. It's, it's the final screenshot that I'm going to be trying to go for that's using the, the logging trader, at least for a little while. Because after this, I'm going to be, I've, I've got other tasks that I'm going to be getting started on that you're all going to be wanting to see. I am wondering if I should get a second link box with this tractor. I could carry 8,000 litres of wood chips at once then. That would be pretty good. Coming round this way. Look at that. 30 miles an hour, fully laden, without really, this, okay, this tractor was the right choice, it's a nice top speed on it, 
Uh, a tick straps off there a minute. Uh, what side are we on? We're on the left side. I want to switch that over there and then do that. Um, yeah, definitely the right choice, this tractor. It's um, nice and fast. It's got enough power to pull us through. We had another 20,000 there to 96,000. The next one's going to take us well over 100. Uh, cultivator will be cheap. The seed drill will also be cheap. And the... What else are we going to want? Right, right-hand side. I'll go... I'm going to take this all the way out to the other end. And then I'll come back in across loading as we go. Um, yeah, the, the seed drill is going to be fairly cheap as well. Seed itself is... Actually, no, seed is, is fairly cheap. We buy a couple bags of that. That's, that's uh, nice and cheap and easy to use. Uh... What else we got? We got a mower and a baler. They're not ridiculously expensive either. I think overall we're going to be all right. We're, we're going to do well on this. It's, it's, none of it is particularly expensive. None of the items that we want to get are particularly expensive. We're going for a round baler and a round wrapper as well, which is going to save us a bit of money. Now, why did that one not pick up? There's one there that refused to pick up. I'm going to go and get it a minute, because it's kind of, like, in the wrong place now. When I come back round, it's, it's going to be stuck out right where I don't want it to be. Chuck you over there. There we go. Look at that. So strong, I can sling it up into the air like that. Go along and bring that one back. I can zoom back out a little bit. There we go. We can see what we're doing. Um, just come up along here. There'll be a couple more there we'll grab. And then if I swing this one in like that... I can pick those up, and then we've got the top ends of the tree right here. Which it will gather those up. That's almost it. I've just got these couple little bits. Is that going to be it? Are we going to get no, no, there's nothing further back. All right, let's go, and, let's go and dump this lot. There. And then we can come back through again. Yeah, if i got a second link box, so i put one on the back and one on the front. And I can drop them both down. Move them, you know, I can, I can be moving round with both of them so that um, I'm picking up wood chips front and back. Because uh, we've already established that if you've got the thing going down and you're driving forward, it'll still pick up. And that's basically just you going along behind with a shovel, um, scooping them into it. And I don't think that would be a terrible thing to have, you know, two lots of it. I think we'd be able to make a bit of cash out of uh, Well, not a bit of cash. It's just to pick them up a little bit faster. We'll see how we do with one. We'll, we'll do one to start with because obviously an extra link box is extra money and we do still have to be careful with the money. Because once we've done the bales, once we've made bales, we need to be able to clear the bales off the field. And I'm kind of thinking an auto load trailer for bales. Because just, well, if we've got a loader, we've got to get a trailer and um, then you want a bale squeeze and... Quite frankly, I don't particularly enjoy doing that too much because it starts to get rather difficult and tedious. Especially as I don't really want to be using too much in a way of having to do keyboard because... Um, I, I did explain this last week, but I will explain it again. Basically, I've got um, what's known as... I didn't realise I had this and I didn't realise it was a thing. It's called hypermobility. And basically, most of your joints move a little bit further than they should. They don't all, but a lot of them can. Um, but what can happen is your joints will start to ache if you don't move them very much. And, you know, you, you, it sort of feels a bit funny. You may find things like writing to be quite painful. And I always found, when I was in school, I always found writing to be quite painful. And, I, would, you know, you always got kids in school that would be stopping and like you know wiggling their fingers and that and then there'd be other kids that would never need to do that well apparently there's something to do with this hypermobility thing and i used to i used to get this a lot right this was a lot I, all the time i'd have trouble with trying to write because it would just hurt my fingers and um my hand it would always like really really ache whenever i was trying to do anything um and i i just kind of assumed that that was just you know how it was and then there was um you know some kids was like it and some kids wasn't and it was just maybe writing wasn't really my strong point but it turns out that there is actually a medical reason for it and my son's got it now and um he's got it more than i've got it um but it yeah it's, it's this 
thing called hypermobility. And because of it, when I'm sitting in my chair, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm doing my recording, um, I'm constantly changing position. As I'm, I'm at the keyboard, I'm at the, um, but I'm, I'm constantly shifting position, I'm constantly moving around. I do this a lot, which is why I have a headset for recording. I don't have a mic on the desk, because if I had a mic on the desk, I, it would be more difficult to move around. I move a lot. My, like, my head moves around a huge amount. Um, it would also be difficult for me to do any kind of webcam stuff, because I move around so much. Um, like the web, I'd have a job to keep the webcam on me. Um, so, when I'm doing recording using the steering wheel, I can't move around anywhere near as much. I've got to stay roughly in the same place in order for the steering wheel to be able to work. Now, which side are we on at the moment? Uh, right, that's okay. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I got to stay in pretty much the same position. And after a while, it really starts to hurt. Um, I, I, it do start to get quite a lot of pain. And if I got to do this too much in the week, um, it can really cause me problems. And by doing the time lapse and the, the um, six episodes of Let's Plays, well, I was actually doing two time lapses as well. Um, I was, it was really starting to hurt all the time when I was using the steering wheel. It's stopped hurting now. I do one time lapse and I do one series a week where I'm using the steering wheel. And it has actually stopped hurting. It doesn't hurt for me to use the steering wheel. But I don't want to be doing any more work with the steering wheel because I'm concerned it's going to start hurting again. And once it does start hurting, um, it, it kind of keeps hurting. It takes me quite a long time to, like... Uh, um, like go back to it not hurting as much or not hurting at all and so that's why I'm not using a steering wheel on this one because I that it picked it up it 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 it, it actually picked that one up I did not know that was a thing seriously it actually picked that one up I mean yes admittedly it dropped it on the ground again but still it's, it, it, it picked it up so, um, let's, let's do that again I didn't know it would do that. Did it mean to? Was it done by accident? I don't know at the moment. Let's, let's try moving it round a bit. Not sure if that was an accident or not. Not sure whether that meant to pick it up. Wiggle around a little bit. Hmm, maybe it was an accident. Maybe it wasn't supposed to pick it up. Seems to have broken it, because it's not working now. Um, start auto. I, I did. I broke it. Not quite sure why that broke it, but it did. And st stop the auto load. I, I, pick, I went to pick that one up. It dropped it. It did it strange, and it stopped the auto load. So it would appear that that one might actually break things if we try to auto load it. So um, instead of trying to tempt fate. We'll just pick this one up. We're going to carry it now ourselves all the way over and we're going to throw it into the lake. Um, so yes, this is why I don't want to be using the steering wheel because this whole hypermobility thing means that uh, by having the steering wheel too much, I can't move around. I can't change my position. Um, it starts to get, it's not just uncomfortable, it starts to get quite painful and then I won't be able to do my recording properly. Um, so this series, I'd like to not use the steering wheel. I'm wondering how I'm going to do it at the start of FS seventeen, uh, FS nineteen, with um, because we've got like the new stuff coming. I'm planning to do like one, just one continuous series for um, six days a week. I'm hoping that I'll be all right with doing that. It might just be that I spend some days of the week not using the steering wheel um, and do it like that in order to be able to make it work properly um, I'll see how it goes if I'm able to use the steering wheel without too much trouble doing that uh, maybe I'll be able to use the steering wheel a bit more on this one it's very difficult to reverse this one the, the turning circle on this tractor is nowhere near as good as most tractors um, so that's why I'm having a bit of trouble turning the trailer around um, we'll bring you in there like that there we go a few more logs are we going to get the rest of these on there's one back down there that we haven't quite reached yet. Uh, I'm going to go and pick that one up. And that is, that's it. That's all of them. We've got $137,000 here at the minute. 
And I'll bring that one over and chuck that one down there. It's not picking it up yet. There we go. Right, that's all of them. $137,000. Let me in. It won't let me in. Right. I'm not sure why it's not letting me in. There's something there's, there's something a little bit strange going on with that. Uh, stop auto load. Let's, let's try stopping. I, I don't know why it wasn't letting me in and out. I, I can do that. But it's not letting me into that tractor. Hmm. I don't know why that would be. Whether it's something to do with the the auto load going a bit funny there at one point, or I, I I don't really know. We'll we'll um we'll leave that. We'll find out another time. So the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm just wondering whether I should do pick up the wood chips next or no. We'll go and get those three trees. I want all the trees done and get them all out of the way, all done, all finished, and then we don't have to worry about trees anymore. So we'll bring this one over this way and put that one in bring you up easy does it there we go and stop right so we can unload that one and which side are you on you are on the right hand side unload we had hundred and thirty seven thousand dollars we've now got hundred and fifty nine thousand I think right hundred and sixty thousand dollars I think we're going to be pretty good for most things I think we're going to be able to get everything that we want to get for gathering everything up. I don't think we're going to have any problems. i got a load of wood chips over there. I'm going to just stop here a minute. Oh, I can get in and out again now. I don't know. What, I, I really don't know what that was all about. Right. Let's go to you. We get this tractor. And this one, if we bring this one round, we want to go and get the winch down there. And we're going to grab these trees. We'll winch them back here one at a time. And then we can um, chop them up. Uh, ready for going into the... We'll, we'll, those we're going to chuck into the pond, aren't we? Um, we can't... We can chuck... We can still stuff, chuck stuff into the pond. I, I don't think that's being unrealistic at all. Even if the um, logs do sink. Um, I still think chucking them into the pond is quite acceptable. And... I might actually... If I just drag them to here, I can push them in off the side... And that, again, that'll be a little bit easier. Save us a tiny little bit of time. And get us a one step closer towards being able to start doing the plowing. I don't think we're going to get to the plowing in today's episode. I think that is actually going to be in tomorrow's episode. But the plowing will be done. So let's come over here. There is the first one. We're going to bring you down as low as we can like that. Slice you through. And then I'm going to go to the next tree and the next tree. I'm going to chop them all off straight away. And I will cut these trees up properly. I will um, like remove the branches properly. We'll do it properly. You said do it properly. I will do it properly. I'm not going to disappoint. The only thing that we're not doing is grinding up all the stumps individually. So then we can go and get the sawdust from them as well. Because I don't really think that we need to do that. How deep is that? This this is the one here I'm a bit concerned about. I don't want it dropping backwards into the lake. Um, now, one other thing that should be pointed out is the wood chips. I'm getting quite a few people asking, how are these wood chips like this? How, how are you getting these wood chips like that? Um, what you've got, I think I need to go up to here. Do I press, yeah, I press O like that. Uh, the wood chips is the... Wait a minute. Uh, right. Oh, B. You got you press B. I'm going to pull these one at a time. Um, wood chips is the sawdust mod, or yeah, I think it's a sort saw, of sawdust mod. I think I think it's called. Um, and it basically allows you to. Um, oh, I need to turn that one on. Uh, yeah, sawdust mod basically allows the. Um, Whenever you do any cutting, whether it's chainsawing, delimbing, using the scorpion, anything like that, or grinding stumps, it um, produces wood chips. And you you are actually able to set how many wood chips you have. If you look on there, left, uh, no, that's not on here. 
there is a, there is an option that you can use for like setting how many you do. Now I don't want to be picking that up like that. That ain't right. So what I got to do is I got to it's Control B, isn't it? Left Shift B, Left Shift B to detach all. Then I come back out and I've got it winched up there now. I press B on there again and that one will hold it up. But it's now up in the air and it's tight into the winch. And I could just drag it along like this. I'm going to pull this one over to here. And then I'll be able to just push the thing straight into the lake. From here. So then I go left shift B like that. Put that one there. We'll stop that tractor a minute. Just like that. And then we'll go back through here. And we're going to start delimbing. Start cleaning it all up. And I'm going to start delimbing as well. I'll run through there. And I'll run through there. Um, yeah, it's this, the sword. I think it's just the sawdust mod. Um, something like that. I, I can't remember the exact name of it. But it's on Mod Hub. Anyway, you, you go on Mod Hub. You can, you'll be able to find it on there. Uh, if if you can't find something on ModHub, if you're unsure quite where it is, go onto the website. They've got a search function on the website. They don't have the search function in game, ModHub, when you're actually looking at it in a game. But there is a search function that you can get to on the website, and it's very useful because you can go, you can at least find the section that the mod you're after is in. So then you can go in game and you can look it up afterwards, and it's. Um, it does make it a little bit easier for you. It, it's, it may not be like a, a massive difference, but it does help a bit. At least I've found it does. Uh, there, that's what I want to do. I'll chop that one off there. Um, we kind of want to... I remember now, we, we need to cut these up into a few sections in order to get them to work well. Uh, come up there and crouch down. Take that one off there. Got a few more cuts to do on this one. Like that. Uh, this one here, I just want to cut this one in half. Just want to cut there, actually. And then that one can all be chucked in. It's ready to go. I've got a piece over here, which I'm going to cut there. And then I'm going to do another cut as well. I'm going to drop down on my head, but still. Um, I'll probably cope. Crouch down there and take you. Okay, I'm not quite sure. Oh, I see where it's cutting. It's cut through there. There we go. We've got that one cut there. Then this one here wants to cut across there. And then this one... I'm going to leave that one as a, a, a longer limb there, I think. And then this one here also is going to be a slightly longer limb. We cut that one off there. And then I've got another... This one that's left, that one wants to be cut in half... About there, I think. And then up against the main trunk. The main trunk itself, I can't leave that one long like that. Because it's not quite straight enough. We did have trouble with that previously. So I'll bring this there. I'm going to put that one onto there like that. Cut that one. So that bit can all be slung into the lake. And then I need to just bring that back a little bit. And it's right there. Like that. I'm going to cut that one off there. Because then the, the one little piece that's left... That is that's like the valuable part. There. Right, I think this is now all okay. And I might actually be able to chuck it all in by hand. 150 for that one. And so I can just start gathering all of these up and slinging them in there. We may be able to get our grand total here. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, 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 don't fall in, don't fall in, don't fall in. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get it. Ah, Missed it. Right. I lost a little bit there because it still had the branch on it, unfortunately. There's not a lot that I can do about that. Um, we we'll take you down there and sling you over. And then I'm going to keep... Actually, I'm going to keep that one there as a lever. Because I might be able to then lever the rest of it into the lake without having to use the tractor at all. If I could do that, that would be quite cool. And this one here, I don't know what I'm going to get for this. I... Feeling I may, may have been better to cut that. Yeah, 80. That one I think I should have cut the end off. I'd have gotten a better price for it. So that one there. In you go. Only 75 for that. That one's too heavy. But I think I can use this one to lever it in. And levers work. 
We know that levers can work. You've just got to get them right. Let's pick you up there. and then, Okay. Apparently levers don't work. Let's try pushing you like that. And then... Yep, levers work. Levers do work. I'm, I'm rolling this log right into the lake. I got a big pile of wood chips in a way. But I'm, I'm still convinced that I can do this. I'm convinced of my own strength. So we bring that one there like that. And then go to pick it up. And thus, this working. It's actually working. There. <laughs> I love... No! No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't, don't drop. Pick you up like that. Bring you back this side. There. There we go. Go, go. Over he goes. And in he goes to the lake. There we go. 611 for that one. We've just gone past uh, $160,000. Brilliant. Right. We go and get another one, and the last one I will do at the beginning of the next episode, and then we're going to start on the wood chips, because I haven't really got time today to do both of these trees, unfortunately. A um, little bit of a shame. I would like to have done all of the trees and finished them. I would like to have completed this task. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, you know what I'm going to do? You know what? I am, I'm, I'm going to do something here a minute. I'm going to go over to there, and I'm going to press B. I'm going to go over to there. I'm going to press B on there. And I'm going to try hauling both of these back. Now, I can chuck them both in the lake. Um, that, I was actually told I could do that. Oh, I need to turn the winch on. And it would... Oh. Okay, I did that wrong. Um, I pressed shift because I was going to try and winch fast. But the winch wasn't on. So then I went to turn the winch on. And, and I, 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 I undid them all. That, that wasn't supposed to happen. Right. Turn the winch on. And lower it down like that so it's jammed into the ground properly like that. And then start winching. Now I'll haul them both round like this. I got one bit on a chain right there, which is not quite so good. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to come off of there and I'm going to go to... Oop, nope. Uh, no, I just need, to, just need to press B onto it like that. Haul this one in a little bit closer. Like that. Press shift like that. Haul it in. Bring it in a bit closer. I don't know how close we're going to run with it. Get the two trees in together. You don't want them in too tight because you might make them explode. There. That one there can stay just as it is. But I'll put another one on there like that. So that's uh, kind of hauling them both. And then we'll lift that up. That works. That works well. Okay, we, we got that bit going. So I'm bringing these trees over this way. Now, do I just dump them in? Very tempted to just dump them in so I can say, job done, we've finished, and we are ready then for our next episode to actually start doing the rest of it. I'd like to... Actually, I, I might do that. Let's, let's see. Let's see how long this takes. Let's, let's go to here. We can um, take the, the winch off like that. And put that one there. I can just back the tractor up in a minute and I can shove these into the lake if that's what I want to do. I'll delim a minute. Let's let's do some delimming work. Like this. And I go up there and delim that bit up there. I can then come down here and I can actually chop that one. He'll go straight into the lake. Let's go straight in just as he is. There he goes. There's the first one in. Um Bit of, another bit of money. Ideal. Right, and delim you, and then delim that one. Right, so then if I go here like this, I can go like that. I'm hoping that's going to be cut up. Yes, let's cut them both off separately. And then I'll go all the way over here. Now, that one, I do actually want to cut this one in half in order to get a better price, I think. Chop you down there. Like that. Let's um, chop that in there. And then you as well. And then I got this bigger piece here. I'm going to try and... Let's, let's go up here and do a bit of delimbing. Out there. Where else do I want to delim? So I want to take that one off there. Delim that. Chop this one off here. That's where it's got... There we go. Take that one off there. Um, 
Right, I've run out of time for today's episode. I'm not sure if I'm going to properly delim and chop these up in tomorrow's episode. That one, uh, oh, crumbs. Actually, that's got a bit on it. 25. See, that's why you got to delim. That's why you got to like, properly delim because you, you really do take a massive hit in the cash department if you don't delim. And we've got them over here, and you did say to them properly. So let's let's make sure that we do try to at least delim properly. There, even if I chuck the whole tree in once we've delimbed, it's got to be better than nothing. Take that bit out there, come up here, go along there. I got that bit there. I can go up through and do that. Um, uh, see where we're going up there. There we go. That's that's all delimbed there. I've got this little piece here that I want to take off. Chop you out through there, and then I can deal in that one and sling it in lake. Um, but yeah, so if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. We will finish doing these couple of trees in our next episode. And then we can start gathering up wood chips. And that might actually take a bit longer than I first anticipated. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take to gather up those wood chips, but we'll get it done. Don't worry. And I'm hoping that we'll get it done in our next episode and we can start ploughing as well. If we can start ploughing, that would be absolutely brilliant. Let's just chop that one through there. Um, we've got the Ford. The, the Ford and the plough is all ready to roll. All we need to do is just get the thing moving and ploughing and the, the stumps. Uh, we will sort of take care of those all at the same time. I'm quite happy to do that. I, you know, we, we've done so much work here. I think that just the, the, the sawdust we get from the stumps, it's poorer quality sawdust anyway. So mulching it into the ground is probably not a bad thing. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.